I was like kind of blown away. It was like, I knew the moment may come, but I'm like, okay, when is it gonna happen? I think the highlight I think would be basketball. It was like the main sport for me um, because we were there. I was a member of the first girls team that went down state for basketball. So that was the highlight and uh, uh, something to always remember. Mr. Turner, I think it's, well, he's family. So yeah, Mr. Turner, definitely. Mr. McKee, they would, the coaches, Mr. McKee and Mr. Turner, they would just, you know, they see potential. As a kid, we don't see, but they see. So they would push me and encourage me. So, or pull me to the side. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Turner especially just pulled me to the side. Like we're at a family reunion talking. So he would keep it that way. And you know, it, uh, it was good. It was good. It was helpful. Cause I never went home after school for any, I was always here, always. So mm -hmm. I was a team player. Um, I love being uh, part of a family and being with each sport, cross country, volleyball, basketball track, I was always with the family. So I love that. Um, and that each coach created that. So I like that. And that carried on throughout college. And now I'm still playing volleyball at 49 years old. So I, I love being uh, part of a family, part of a team. So I, I love that. Mm -hmm. Nikki Lewis and Amy Griffin, we played elementary ball and high school ball and Amy Griffin and I almost became uh, college roommates and teammates at Union College. That's where I went to school. That's where we had offers for. So, um, and it helped our senior year because we were, we already knew one another, you know? So um, we had that history, we had that chemistry. So in um, Dee Dee Dandridge, yeah, she was another one that came up through John G. Carlisle. That's where we started. Uh, and we were coached under Carol Kling. Um, but uh, we kind of all came together. We, we, we knew one another, so it helped. Really excited. Um, I was very happy with, with my uh, uh, athletic uh, career at Holmes and um, had a lot of good memories uh, from that. Made a lot of, a lot of friends. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it was, it's, it's an honor uh, to, to be admitted uh, in, into this, this uh, athletic hall of fame. So very happy about that. Yeah, big highlight was uh, beating beating Highlands, you know, at, at Highlands. Um, uh, of course, they 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 beat us in the regional championship, but I don't know that many other teams at Holmes that have made it to the regional championship. Uh, so that was and it was a close it was a close game. Um, uh, so we had, we had a lot of uh, highlights that year. Actually, we beat. Uh, Danville, I think they'd won 64 games straight uh, when we beat them. It's hard to pick out one that uh, was, you know, the most influential. Um, but obviously, your position coach, uh, which was uh, John Vandermeer at the time, he was also the head coach. Yeah, Coach Vandermeer, uh, Marksbury, uh, Coach Farley was the defense coordinator, and I played defensive line um, my sophomore year. Uh, and, and off the salon. It's tradition, um, you know, my, my family uh, has, has gone to homes, uh, parents, sisters, uh, grandparents. Um, and it's like my, my grandpa graduated in 1927. But a, a lot of folks looking on the outside don't know what it's like to be, you know, at, at the school. And uh, so you learn a lot of life lessons at, at homes that you might not learn at uh, different schools. My reaction to when I got inducted was shocked. You know, a lot of people talk about, you should have been in a long time ago. And you don't know how, how you're supposed to go in, but when you do go in, it's, it's surreal. You know what I mean? You, you think about all the past people who got in before you and you're like, well, I want to be like that guy. I looked up to that guy. So it was, it was awesome getting a call from Mr. Hume saying that I'm being inducted in. Um, football wise, it was, it was cool because I started out as a seventh grader playing here. And then coach Marksbury moved me up to play freshman. And then as a sophomore, I was the only underclassmen to play on the varsity level on defense towards the end of the season. So it was uh, 10 
seniors and one underclassman. And then as going into my junior year, I was the only returning starter. So, you know, there was a few things for football. Basketball was great. You know, you had a lot of potential on basketball. There was a lot of athletes. So you had to work hard every single day to get on the floor. And then I ran track for Coach Bohannon and that started as a freshman. So playing three different sports, you were just always here. So it was great to always be here. Coming through here, my mentors was my uncle John Wimsey, which everybody knows him as Bud, um, Coach Ackling, Coach Farley, um, Coach Bohannon, Mr. McKee, um, Coach Riley, um, who else was that? Um, you know, I had Coach Riley from seventh through ninth, ninth grade. Then I had Coach Cooper as a sophomore, Coach Henley as a so, uh, junior, senior, um, football-wise, same coaches. A lot of the stuff that they taught me as a player, as a, as a human being, I try to use. So I coach Twin Hoffle Middle School football. So I try to use a lot of stuff that they taught me for those kids. Going through homes here was probably the best experience I had. You know, going through middle school, you're like, everybody says, what school are you going to? I'm going to homes, I'm going to homes. And then you get to homes and you're, you're looking at this big castle and you're like, am I going to make it? And it was an easy transition because everybody that you played basketball against in middle school were your friends in seventh and eighth grade. And then you go to ninth grade and they're still the same friends. So it was, I mean, I wouldn't have changed anything that I did here. Baseball field uh, made all reason, I believe, my senior year. Uh, I spent a long time, so. I think I had six or seven home runs playing third base, but uh, you know, baseball was not my forte. So it was an offensive lineman in high school, so not a whole lot of highlights, but I uh, did score a touchdown at Grant County, uh, blocked a punt, scored a touchdown. Um, you know, I believe we made all, all North Kentucky in football and uh, you know, got to play in college in football and work football. So, yeah, it, it, it was an exciting time. Love with folks. You know, uh, Jeff McCarthy was our coach there at the time um, and really turning the program around. Was a big deal for us. I coached 22 years in high school at a lot of different places, all offensive lines, so not a lot of glory there, but you know, we could always, we took a lot of pride in what we did. It was, uh, you know, the guys like Dave Jones and Ray Hartman and Dixon Moore and some of those guys that I got to play with were it was fantastic to be those guys. And we're, we're still friends to these days. We don't see each other near as much as we used to. We all live in different areas, but uh, we got to get to see those guys and become lifelong friends with those. Jeff McCarthy was probably the biggest one. Um, and uh, Mr. Biggs was also, uh, you know, I know he, he was the AD there for a while. Uh, or no, he was the superintendent, if I'm mistaken, for a while. So he used to be quite around the, the program quite a bit. But um, Franklin was another huge influence on us. He was our D1 coach. He was, uh, you know, he was a world lifting guy and really kept the guys in the straight. Overall, Jeff McCarthy, he's been like my father. We still talk today. I talked to him last week. He was the guy that actually, you know, you know coming from Covington and things like that, it was tough for us to get into school uh, with the grades. And he was very persistent and got me to go to Eastern Kentucky. Um, you know, scholarship to Eastern and play football because we were um, multicultural. It was, you know, everyone got along. I had a fantastic time. A little bit surprised, I think. Um, totally honored by it, you know, because, you know, I have experience with seeing my husband inducted last year, as well as three teammates of mine um, that played volleyball and softball with me. So to join this, you know, group, <laughs> it's quite an honor. Um, I have to thank uh, my coaches, Donna Wolf and Joan Mitchell, and I think also my teammates because playing team sports. You know, I was very fortunate to have um, the chance to play with teams that were spectacular and very talented. So without them, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> you know, um, I guess 
thinking about that. Um, I joined, or I came to Holmes when I was a freshman. Came from a school of 35 students in my class to 350 here at Holmes. So I did not um, play sports my freshman year, but coach, coaches uh, Donna Wolf and Joe Mitchell encouraged me to play volleyball uh, in my sophomore year. So I joined my sophomore year and uh, we had one junior on that team. So it was a very young team. We wound up, you know, having a winning season. I think we broke some record in the conference. I, I don't remember uh, all the details there, but I know that um, we had a winning team. And you think about it, uh, there were just a few of us sophomores, juniors, uh, I mean sophomores and freshmen and eighth graders. So I got to play with the same girls for all three years that I played sports. So that built, I mean, great friendships. We're still friends today. Some highlights. Um, I think about um, my first year, um, we got crushed by Bellevue. Okay, Bellevue was our arch rival in volleyball. And we finally beat them when I was a junior. We beat them one time and they beat us that year also, but it wasn't quite handedly. I think it was 18 to 16 and 16 to 14. So the games were very different. Um, this is a little highlight. It's a silly one, but our senior year, we got new uniforms and we went from short sleeved uh, uniforms to long sleeved and they were just on trend. It really made me feel special. And, you know, I think it did for everyone. It's always a kind of boost of confidence, something like that. I, I loved coming to Holmes. Once I get used to the big school, um, you know, in addition to, I feel like I got a great education. Um, I played, played sports, was able to play sports I loved, be on two great teams, joined many other extracurricular activities, and just, just really had a great time. Um, my coaches, of course. You know, because um, they, of course, taught you the game, taught you how to play, taught you the fundamentals of the game, um, taught you about sportsmanship. So they were really great mentors from that. Um, I don't know, I loved all my teachers, <laughs> I must say. Uh, I was really surprised and um, I was excited because I got to rub it in my siblings' faces that I'm the first in the family. Um, and. Uh, yeah, I was just really excited and shocked. Uh, my sophomore year, uh, we played both slow pitch and fast pitch. Um, so that was our first year of fast pitch and just getting to adjust from slow pitch one, one day and then a fast pitch game the next, next day uh, was pretty exciting and um, thrilling at the same time uh, because it's two different sports, even though it's softball, it's two different ways of playing. Um, so. That was a highlight. I would also say another highlight would have been, um, again, my sophomore year, our basketball team uh, went downstate and um, we didn't make it past the first round, but it was still a good experience. Coach Hughes, he was my softball coach and um, Coach Sparrow, she was uh, one of the basketball coaches. Um, and then uh, academically, it would have been Mr. Hewn. Um, he made me, uh, love math, which was hard, um, but he was a great teacher. Um, so I would say Coach Hughes and Coach Sparrow. I was so busy in sports. I played soccer in the fall and then basketball in the um, winter and then softball in the spring. Um, so I kind of like was focused on my sports. Um, so I would say it was pretty typical. I, I mean, it was, it was fun uh, because I was involved in so many things. Um, but yeah, I, it was good. Just being, taking pride in where I came from and um, I was born and raised in Covington. Um, I coached here for a period of time and I eventually got my first school counseling job in the school district. Um, so just being able to um, say once a, uh, once a bulldog, always a bulldog. I was uh, super excited. Um, I, I kind of knew it could have been. My, my brother sent me well, I'm not on Facebook, so my, my brother, they, they reached out to my brother, who graduated here too, and like, hey, uh, Devonna Gawley wants to uh, get your phone number, you know, for the athletic office. 
about the whole, you know, athletic hall of fame. Like, what? It's like, can I give it to him? I was like, yes, give it to him. Yeah. So uh, I had a lot of time to think about it, but yeah, I was super excited when uh, when I found it. But yeah, so the the main was football. I, I played that four years. Um, basketball wasn't very good at uh, track. The our track coach was a football coach, so he asked me to come out, so that was okay. Or uh, that was just fun to be with the guys, but football uh, was my main sport. And the highlights there, um, well, the main one was just uh, my senior season, playing with my class, going in the playoffs as long as we did, the further in school history. Um, but just my teammates and, and enjoying the four years I was privileged to be here. Uh, my O line coach, Coach Marsberry, um, he. Uh, <laughs> I messaged him about this and, and said he was he was just what I needed. He came in, I believe it was my sophomore year, I kind of took over. So I was a freshman and sophomore through senior. He was a fiery coach. He was very good, very attention to details and really bought, brought the best in me. Um, and he said, I'll never forget this. He said, uh, we're going to pursue perfection and in pursuing perfection, we'll achieve excellence. And that, that just gravitated towards me when I heard that and, and uh, just tried to embody that in my whole career. Yeah, I went to a, a Michigan camp uh, years ago, my, probably my sophomore, junior year. And the Michigan um, uh, strength and conditioning coach, he, he said something about there's a, there's a sense of camaraderie with, with enduring something that's hard with other people. And it really, that really gravitated with me. And it was just, there's a brotherhood with those guys uh, that you really can't, it's hard to put, hard, hard to put in words. Uh, just, uh, well, a, a bulldog is tenacious. It's, uh, it, there's a tenacity to a bulldog. And um, again, playing here, uh, being at this school, um, the tenacity really, uh, um, really helped me um, uh, or being really embodied that, and uh, again, just again through athletics uh, that came out and mm -hmm. what I did. I think I, I ran around the whole house before I even said anything. It was like, what's wrong with her? And I was like, oh, yeah. that's like, I made it into the uh, Holmes Hall of Fame, and me and Uncle Mark at the same time. So I was excited. So that's my uncle, and I love him, and I'm just so glad that I can do it the same time as him, so I'm just excited. I think my highlight is just coming up here in the seventh grade, taking a varsity spot. And I still like, if I am if I can remember, I still probably got some records out there. I ran in a 100 meter dash, the 200 meter dash. And I did those, the four by, um, the four by one and the two by eight. My cousins and my aunt, she um, graduated. Well, she, I got to run with her. She was a senior when I came up here in the seventh grade. And I thought she was the fastest um, one ever, but I guess it was me. I, it just like all the older kids where I grew up on that street, we either playing football in the street or we racing. And I figured out, hey, I was pretty good. I was like, I'm pretty fast. You know, I'm excited. You know, I wasn't uh, expecting it. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of mine was at, uh, last year and uh, I just wasn't ready for it, but uh, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was appreciative. I ran cross country and track. Uh, 11th and 12th grade, 88, 89. And uh, after my uh, first race as a reservist, I won my first race as a reservist. And then from there, I went from my, to the first team, first uh, five, starting five. So that was a big accomplishment, accomplishment for uh, me as a junior. So uh, I won regionals, I won a few track, uh, had a few track uh, times, uh, records, mm -hmm. and uh, the mile and the two mile. So. You know, when you first start, you know, eighth grade, so ninth grade, so uh, it was intimidating when we were younger. But you know, once I got into sports, it was it was it was pretty awesome feeling. You know, uh, you didn't realize it back then, but look back now, looking back, it's it was a great it was a great time. But you didn't really get a chance to uh, you know we were just trying to survive. Uh, as far as coaching was, Mr. Ferguson, Lenny Ferguson, and Paul McKee, uh, Tom Rungi, uh and teachers, I had all kinds of teachers that took care of me. You know, uh, Ms. Wilburn, uh, Mr. Hill, uh, there's many of them. Miss Sparks, Mr. Blanky, you know, 
was my name. I was happy. I was, I didn't, know, I didn't believe it for real because it came from Ricardo. So I'm like, oh, okay, are you serious? He's like, yeah, I'm serious. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm, I was happy. That's it. Yeah. Happy and joyful. Mm -hmm. David Henley, uh, Miss Green. Um, who else? Who else? I don't, Mr. Bohannon. Who else? I don't, uh, Miss Linda Jackson. Mr. Uh, Mr. Ron Madrid. Uh, just never give up. Keep going. And one day the sky will be the limit. And that was it for real. Just keep going. Don't give up. Uh, the championship was, was was great for real. It just felt like we've been there too many times. So I don't know. It, was, it, it wasn't easy, but it. It was more like we knew what we was doing, so it felt better. The championship ones, not the, the losing ones. Everything, this is this why I was born born around here, raised around here. Went to this school, watched a lot of people graduate. A lot of from this school, John Wimsey, a lot of people played for this school. And I don't know, it just meant a lot to win a state championship at the school that I loved and wanted to, I grew up at. That's a good feeling to be a bulldog. I'd rather be a bulldog than any other thing, than any other school. Mm -hmm.